In a perfect world, the bank's gonna approve your construction loan quickly and easily, but we don't live in a perfect world. On the bright side, I found that construction loans can be super easy provided you give the banks the right information up front. So today, we're gonna to go through how construction loans work, how you can build a house easily and quickly using money from the bank. But before we get started, why construction loans are so complicated? That's kind of easy, I guess. It's because there are so many people involved in building a house. Quite honestly, it's crazy. There's architects, real estate agents, solicitors, builders, valuers, conveyances, banks, counselors, the list goes on and on and on. And you need to organize these people. Building a house is even further complicated because there's so many banks and mortgage brokers out there just not familiar with the construction process at all. And as a consequence, things like payments to the builder get missed or incorrect loan amounts are approved and it can cause further delays and cost you heaps. So my only word of advice is just make sure you work with a mortgage broker or a bank that's familiar with the construction process and can help you make it as smooth as possible. But back to it anyway. So first of all, how does the bank value your home that's about to be built? To approve a construction loan, your mortgage broker will arrange an as if complete valuation. What this means is the value will complete a valuation, not on what the property is worth today, a vacant block of land, but what it's gonna be worth once it's done. The as if complete valuation will give the bank a final value that they'll know what to lend on. Sometimes it's called the market valuation or an as if complete valuation. To arrange the as if complete valuation, the, your mortgage broker is going to need a bunch of documents, things like the council approved plans, the fixed price building contract, the specifications, any other quotes that you're going to need, if you're going to get a pool done or solar panels or any other stuff is going to need to get collated and given to the value to value the property. But this is where people can make a mistake. There are some banks that take a few shortcuts when they're arranging the valuation and will basically value the property based on the land price plus the construction price, which you know, it sounds simple, at least you know what it is. But the issue is if you're getting a great deal on your building contract, you can actually get shortchanged because say if you spend 500 land, 500 build contract, your house is worth a million dollars, but there could be other properties in your suburb selling for $1.5 million. So this is where you need to work with a bank and there's a couple of major banks and even a few of the smaller ones that will look on the actual market value once the property is complete. This means that you get more equity in the property and you're getting a better deal all around. So the next question that most people ask when they're building a home is how long does it take to get a construction home loan approved? A construction home loan is similar to a normal home loan. You're still gonna need your pay slips and all the other details, but the difference is it takes probably about five to seven days extra to get the construction valuation or that as if the complete valuation done because you're gonna need stuff like the building contract, the plans and specifications. And you really need to get the bank valuation completed before um, you can get your, your home loan and your finance done. So how long does it take to get a construction home loan done? I would say it would take roughly five to seven days extra compared to just your standard home loan. So how does a construction home loan actually work? Well, it works the same as a normal home loan. You get to settlement, the bank will pay the money to pay for the land, but then this is where it gets a bit different. Once you settle, once you've got the land, you've got a block of land there, you've got a builder ready to build, the bank will then make payments to the builder across five different stages. The five stages are slab, poured, frame up, completion of brickwork, lock up, and practical completion. Once that's done, you've got a complete house, your home loan's been fully drawn, and you can move in. The difference, the main difference between a normal home loan and construction loan is that at each of those five stages, you're gonna to need to complete a progress payment request, which will basically authorize the bank to make payments on your behalf to the builder for the work that they've done. So are there any common mistakes you need to avoid with construction or building home loans? Yes. If you've already had your home loan pre-approved before the construction, getting your unconditional loan approval should be fairly easy, provided there are a few things that you've actually done and haven't changed since you got that initial pre-approval. This includes stuff like if you've changed or left your job since you got your initial pre-approval, it's spending your deposit money without keeping receipts, um, you know, you can do stuff like pay your architect, but if you pay it in cash, the bank's not gonna actually use that as money that you've paid towards a bill, so you can get really caught out. Um, it's you know, keeping things like your credit card in check. So I've seen situations where people got their pre-approval, they've gone and got the build up and then forgot to make payments on their credit cards, and then the bank's come back and said, no, they're not gonna give them the loan for the big building loan. So just make sure you keep that all up to date and ticking over to not affect your building loan. Now, in rounding off, how do you make home loan repayments during the construction period? Well, 
The unfortunate thing is you still need to make repayments on your home loan while it's been constructed even if you're not living there. The good thing is that most banks will allow you to make interest only repayments because obviously you've got to live somewhere else at the same time. You might have to rent, you might not be able to live with your parents and you've got to make those payments still while it's being built. So the construction loan works that you're just paying from what's, what's drawn. So if you've got a land loan initially of say $300,000 and you've got $100,000 that are drawn out for construction, that $100,000 is drawn out in little chunks um, and then you're only paying basically interest on what's been drawn on the loan. Pretty simple, pretty easy. But yeah, that's the basic mechanics of how a construction loan works. Um, the banks need some extra documentation. The valuations are a bit different. It does take a little bit longer. Um, and there are, you know, it's basically a stage payment. So that's paid progressively to the builder rather than a big chunk like a normal home loan. But which of the tips did you like the best? Make sure you let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear. Um, and if you need anything else, get in touch with us at huntergalloway.com.au. Thanks.